Hello everyone, welcome back to Pabli. So in today's video, we are going to understand how to add signed better proposals details in Google Sheets. So here, let's suppose that you have sent a proposal to your clients by using better proposals. So your objective is that whenever a client is going to sign that proposal, then automatically you want to add the details in your Google Sheets. So now to do this, you need to build an integration between these two applications for which I'm going to use Pabli Connect. So here my trigger application will be better proposals and my action application will be Google Sheets. If you want to learn more about this, follow me through the screen. In this video, we are going to understand how to add signed better proposals details in Google Sheets. So here let's assume that you have sent a proposal to your clients through better proposals. So now you want that whenever a client is going to sign the proposal, then automatically the details should be added in Google Sheets. So now to automate this entire process, I'm going to use Pabli Connect and this here is the homepage of Pabli Connect. So as an existing user, I'm going to sign in. But if you're a new user, you can click on the sign up for free button and every month you will get 100 tasks for free. So as an existing user, I'm signing in. This here is the all applications page with Pabli. So here I will go to Pabli Connect and click on access now to reach my dashboard. So this here is my dashboard. And now in order to create a new workflow, I will go to my right hand side corner and click on this create workflow button. So now in this dialog box appearing, I'm going to give my workflow a name. So here I've named it as add signed better proposals details in Google Sheets. And on my left hand side, you can see that these are the folders which I've created before. So I want to save this workflow in the folder named as better proposals. And now here I'm going to click on create. So as I did that, now I've arrived on a very important window, which consists of trigger and action. Basically, trigger and action are the two most important principles or concepts of Pabli Connect on which this entire automation will depend. Trigger says when this happens, action says do this. Action is an automated response of your trigger application and in a workflow, you can only have one trigger but multiple action applications. So now moving to my use case, that is to add signed better proposal details in a Google Sheet. So now in order to do this here in my trigger window, I'm going to search for better proposals as my trigger application and here it is. So now moving to the trigger event that will be proposal signed. So this trigger will start working whenever a proposal will be signed. And now moving to my action window as I want to add the details in a Google Sheet. So here Google Sheets will be my action application. Here it is. And the action event will be add new row. So as you can see that I have selected my action application and the action event along with my trigger application and the trigger event. So my objective is to add signed better proposals details in a Google Sheet. So here in order to do that, firstly, I need to establish a connection between better proposals and Pabli Connect. So here I'm going to click on connect. And now in order to add a new connection, I need to mention our API key over here. So I'm going to take you to my better proposals account. Here I will go to settings and in settings, I will go to integrations. And now I will scroll down and here is API. So this here is the API key. So if you want to regenerate a new API key, you can click on this regenerate button. So here I'm going to use the existing key and then I will go back to Pabli Connect and here I'm going to paste the same. So once I've mentioned the API key, I'm going to click on save. And here you can see that better proposals and Pabli Connect is successfully connected. So our trigger application that is better proposals is a polling based one. So this trigger will check for new data in every 10 minutes. So as soon as I will click on save and send test request, it will get the response of the most latest proposal, which would have been signed. So now I'm going to take you to my better proposals account and over here, I will go to my documents and this is a document which I have created. So here I'm going to click on preview document. So this is the proposal which I've created. And now I'm going to send this proposal to the chief guest, which I have invited for the Rangmanch event. So now I'm going to send this proposal. It goes as, who would you like to send your proposal to? So over here, I'm going to mention the first name as dummy, last name as user. And here I'm going to mention an email address of this particular guest. So that is demo user at the rate pablitudes.com. So now over here, it says required to sign. 
So this proposal requires for a signature. So here I've added the details to whom I want to send the proposal. So if you want to send proposal to more people, so you can click on this add another recipient button and you can add those people as well. So as of now, I'm only going to send this proposal to this person by the name of dummy user. So now here I need to write the email subject. So this is my email subject. You can write your email subject as per your requirement. And this here is the content. And this is how the email will look like. So now I'm going to send this. So it says your document was sent successfully. So now as I've sent this email to the guest, so I've mentioned the dummy details and I have access to those details. So now I'm going to sign that proposal. So this here is the email and it goes as we will get your confirmation about attending the Rangmanj event as a chief guest read your proposal. So here I'm going to click on this. So over here, this is the document and now here I'm going to sign. So it says to accept, type your name below or either you can sign by drawing as well. So here I'm going to sign by typing only. So I'm going to mention it as user dummy. And now I'm going to click on accept. So here it says, thank you for signing our proposal. We will be in touch shortly so that we can get started. So over here, that means the proposal is successfully signed. So now here in better proposals, I will go to the accepted documents. And this here is my document that was by the name of Pablitudes and it is under the accepted stage. So over here, it says signed by dummy user. So that means this proposal has been successfully signed. So as this is the latest proposal which have been signed, so the details of this proposal would have been captured in Pabli Connect. So I'm going to take you to Pabli Connect. Here I'm going to click on Sevens and Test Request. So here in Pabli Connect, I have received a response. So here is the subject line. Here is the signed surname, signed signature, first name, along with the email and some other details. And here is the detail of the proposal when it was signed. So now as I've got the details over here in Pabli Connect, now I want to add these details in a Google Sheet. So in order to do that, here I will go to Google Sheets and I'm going to click on Connect. And now in order to add a new connection, you just have to sign in with your Google account. And here you can see that Google Sheets and Pabli Connect is successfully connected. So now moving to the select spreadsheet and the select sheet part. So this here is the Google Sheet which I've created by the name of Better Proposals Details and it consists of four columns, first name, last name, email and of the proposal sign date and it only consists of one sheet. So in this Google Sheet, I want to add the details of the signed proposal. So here in Pabli Connect, I'm going to select my spreadsheet as Better Proposal Details and it has automatically selected the sheet one. So now moving to these details here to mention these details, I'm going to use a method that is called as mapping. So basically mapping means to insert the data from previous steps. So as I've received the response from better proposals, so here I'm going to map the details from the response that I've received. So now I'm going to map the email and here is the email. I've mapped it moving to the signed date. So now over here, I'm going to search for the signed date. So over here, as you can see that the date signed is appearing with the time as well. So I only want to get the date. So now to get in the proper format here, I'm going to click on this add action step. And I'm going to use date time formatter by Pabli, which will help me to get the date. So now the action event will be to format date only. I'm going to click on connect. And here I need to mention the date. So again, from the response received, I'm going to map the date. So here I have mapped the date. This is the from format of the date and now the to format will be this because I only want to get the date and now I'm going to click on save and send test request. So here you can see that I have received a response. Now I'm going to map this date in my Google Sheets action step as well. So here from the response received, I'm going to map it. So as you can see that I have mapped the details in these fields, this method of mapping is important so that every time you receive a new response, so that response can be taken into consideration in these fields. If I would have written this information manually, in that case, this information could have become static, which means that it wouldn't change even if I would have received a new response. So to avoid that problem, we mapped the information. So now after mapping the details, I'm going to click on save and send test request. And here you can see that I have received a response and this here is a positive one. So now I'm going to take you to my Google Sheet. And now over here in this Google Sheet, you can see that in a new row, the details of the signed proposal is successfully added. Here's the proposal signed date and here is the email. Here's the first name and the last name. So this automation is a successful one. That means it will automatically add the signed better proposal details in Google Sheets.
Not just these applications, you can integrate a lot more applications with the help of Pabli Connect. So if you have any doubts regarding Pabli, reach us at support at and if you have any queries, you can visit us at forum.pabli.com. If you have any pricing related query, you can visit this link. So if you like this video, please share it with your friends and colleagues and do not forget to like, share and subscribe our channel.